police officers tightened security around Hong Kong's Victoria Park on Tuesday, the 35th anniversary of the June 4th crackdown in Beijing's Tiananmen Square. The park is where large candlelight vigils had been held annually before tougher new national security laws took effect in recent years. Chinese tanks rolled into Tiananmen Square before dawn on June 4, 1989, ending weeks of pro-democracy demonstrations by students and workers. The ruling Communist Party has never released a death toll. Rights groups and witnesses say the figure could run into the thousands. On the eve of the anniversary, Hong Kong police detained performance artist Sen Mu Chen near Victoria Park. He performed the actions of drinking a toast and then gestured to the numbers 8964, representing the date of the Tiananmen crackdown. His lawyer said he was later released unconditionally. Several other activists were also detained on Tuesday in the run-up to the anniversary. Decades after the military crackdown, rights activists say the demonstrators' original goals, including a free press and freedom of speech, remain distant and June 4th is still a taboo topic in China. Self-exiled Hong Kong artist Casey Wong is striving to keep the memory of the pro-democracy demonstrators alive. He has created Tiananmen-related artworks, including wax feathers molded from candles collected at previous June 4th vigils in Hong Kong. To commemorate is to defend uh, and to treasure the dream of those who lost their life uh, to treasure the dream who, of those who spend the time in the square, in Tiananmen Square, uh, yawning for freedom and democracy. Wong says he left Hong Kong in 2021 for the democratic island of Taiwan, when wide-ranging arrests under a China-imposed national security law made him feel unsafe. Taiwan is the only part of the Chinese-speaking world where June 4th can be remembered openly with a commemoration event in Taipei on Tuesday. In Beijing, an official website for the Tiananmen Tower overlooking the square posted a notice earlier saying it would be closed for the entire day on June 4th. Threat to national security. Hong Kong leader John Lee warned the threat to undermine its national security is real on Tuesday, without mentioning June 4th specifically. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning told reporters that Beijing firmly opposes anyone smearing China and using June 4th as a pretext to interfere in China's internal affairs.